Okay, so we should know about waste mainly because if we spend our lives doing waste, we're going to have a lot of burden in our life and a, a lack of joy. So my worldview is human beings were created for joy and community with one another and to create value for one another. So um, a human being who's spending their time doing waste is kind of missing the mark. Um, and there's a lot of evidence that suggests that a human being spending time with uh, doing things that are wasteful, uh, that, that, that this takes uh, a toll on our body, our spirit, and uh, prevents us from creating the value that I think we're here for. So um, if, we, if we learn about waste, we might be able to choose to maybe not do that. Okay, so what is waste? So uh, waste is anything in the business sense, the purest version of that would be anything that a customer is unwilling to pay for. I believe that's kind of a short sighted view of waste because that assumes that the customer and the supplier are the only people in the equation. So I would say a little broader view of waste is anything that society doesn't value, and that would include the employees and the employees' families. Uh, that would include the ownership of a company, it would include the customers and the shareholders of the entire community. So when we look at waste, we look in terms of wasted human potential as being the thing that really uh, uh, something we should really be considering. And whether that's a young person, an old person, uh, a person from a different country, a different continent, a different culture. So uh, what is waste is just when we're not creating value. Um, and so Toyota did a great job of naming seven wastes and uh, those are identifiable, they're teachable and uh, much like uh, weeds in a garden, if you know the names of the weeds in your garden then you could uh, actually set priority to removing the weeds um, in a sequence that makes sense. There are some weeds in the garden that are much worse than other weeds. I learned this from my grandma uh, when I was a young kid. She taught me about waste, uh, about waste. I didn't know it. But we would go out in the garden every morning. She would pull me out there to a sunrise. We would pull uh, weeds together. And frankly, I didn't even know we were working because I was just having fun with grandma. Um, and when I would go to pull a little weed, she'd be like, Jeff, the thistle over here that's about to drop all the seeds, this is the one we gotta focus on. So we'll focus on that and then we'll have less weeds in our garden. So we think about waste, think about, hey, if we're a garden, we're trying to grow stuff, um, and we can influence that growth by cooperating with uh, the sunshine and the rain and the soils that we have around us. We can't make the corn grow, but we can certainly enhance the opportunity for that corn to grow by preventing weeds stealing from the, the value that is happening. Okay, so Toyota did a great job for us of codifying the seven ways, and, and so uh, we use uh, uh, the, the first letters to run through this really quickly, and it's a horrible saying that we use, but we say, open the meat wagon pal, I'm dead. Uh, one of my colleagues came up with that. So, O-T-N-P, open, actually I have a sequence, open the meat wagon pal, I'm dead. I know it's going to be very hard to see. So, overproduction is one of the ways. This is the worst of all. This is the evil one. This is the one we need to pay attention to. This is the equivalent of the thistle that's about to bloom and send all the seeds in your whole garden. Um, smaller ones include transport, motion, waiting, processing, inventory, and defects. So those are the, the names of the seven ways. We could spend a whole day talking about each one of these, but the real simple message I would want you to know is if you add waste into your garden, you're gonna hurt yourself, your community, your family, and we won't create value for our customers. But if you take those away, you will see an increase in quality of life, learning, innovation. So getting after this, naming them and getting after it is uh, a very important part of creating value.